Hello and welcome, Paul here, and bringing you an update video for Black Desert Online. Now, the game has done its soft launch, and soft launch being the Conqueror pre order sets. Basically, now I don't know if these numbers were right, but I believe there was about 60,000 Conqueror purchases and half a million in total of people buying this game so there's still a lot more people to get in and don't know how true that is but but yeah with those numbers in mind this sort of launch has been flawless at least on my end now i know there's been some issue on the north american server where people playing on a certain channel on a certain server kind of got screwed over and lost their characters and technically lost the time on the head start. Uh, the company is like, is compensating currently and still fixing issues, so hopefully everyone will get sorted. I know it sucks because, I mean, I've been in head starts before and issues have caused us to lose time. And the thing with a head start, you can't push the launch back to give more people more time. So you basically just have to do what you can to fix the issue and unfortunately it kind of sucks that these people lose their time but I think uh, Doam are trying to make it up for them and again I don't know if that's how you pronounce this company it's D-A-U-M I always mess it up but um but yeah so far this launch has been pretty pretty fantastic for me at least launch rolled around at 8 o'clock in the morning I had to spam my login button a couple of times within five minutes I was in. No lag, hadn't logged off the game all day, like 14 hours. It was perfect. It was perfect, at least for me. And again, as I said, there are issues and people have had, you know, been dealing with it. Can't be helped. But um, on my end, it was really good. So I'm happy with that. I just wanted to mention that. Been playing the Warrior, decided to make the Warrior my main. And, uh, oh, in case anyone's wondering, I'm playing on the European server, Jordine. In case anyone ever wants to uh, hop on here and uh, group up some time. I haven't worked out what I'm doing guild-wise, but it's possible that I may make one. If I do, it's going to be on Jordine, so if you guys potentially want to join, consider joining that server. Also, that attack there was one of my ultimates pretty sweet. So yeah, my main's been a warrior, been running around under him. It's okay. Me and my friends been grinding since launch and uh, we haven't, I mean we've done not too bad but we kind of messed up in the sense that we should have been stacking accuracy. None of us knew that. What that means is that if we fight mobs high enough with us, we can uh, get good experience from it. Oh, we can actually get good hits in and we actually hit them, we don't miss. So, we didn't get that till today, so we're kind of behind on leveling up, otherwise we'd have been like 40, 50 possibly, right now. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't really know what else to say, it's just been good, I had a, had a blast. The classes look cool, I could see why a lot of people wanted to play a sorcerer, it's amazing, like melee magic. Still great. Haven't done any of the side stuff yet, only been grinding. But yeah, I'm liking the warrior. But let me show you him if I can. This is my warrior. Doesn't look too much because all my friends had their character template made already. Whereas I didn't, I forgot to mess around on the character creator and sort out a character. So when the time came around to make my character, you know, I, I just had to take some time to make, design one. So what I did, I went to uh, bdo-templates.com, found one I roughly liked and loaded it up, tweaked it, and yeah, it's basically him really. But uh, yeah, I was looking at it, I didn't really want to wear any hair for him or... 
any tattoos or scars or anything like that on this dude. At least not yet. I always can remake how my character looks like on. But, um... But yeah. I think he looked alright. Now what I'll do, before I, uh... And this is only going to be a short video compared to what I normally do. Just wanted to talk a little bit about the game and how the update, went, uh, how the launch went. But, uh... Let me show you my other characters. So yeah, I picked up the Conqueror set, which gives me all the, you know, the tier 5 horse, the 96 hours head start and so on. Uh, some pearls. I still haven't decided how I feel about the cash shop in this game. Like... With the cash shop. Everything is bloody expensive. $30 for a, a full weapon and armor set, I guess. I don't know, see a lot of people say, you know, that, that that's what they were paying or more on, you know, the Korean version of BDO and stuff. But it's like, compared to other MMOs I've played, this is definitely the highest I've seen. And they took like 10% off just so the costumes would be cheaper than the price of the game, so no one can say, you know, uh, this is no longer cheaper, uh, this is more expensive than the game itself. But, uh... But yeah. I'm not too happy about the price, I mean, yes, the items look fantastic, but I mean... I, I, I looked at it at different games I play, like Dota 2 for example. I've spent money on some of the arcane sets, which are basically like League of Legends legendary skins, which have very well done, very cool looking armor sets and wet unique weapons with particle effects and you know skill effects, and they are still cheaper than a costume on this game. So, yeah, can't say I'm too happy with the price, but again. We'll see, we'll see. I figure the way I'll, I'll end up playing this is that I'll just wait for like the, the costume I want to release and then pick it up because otherwise you don't really get much difference in the way of uh, gear. Like you see the, this gear I'm wearing now? That's probably what I'll look like for the rest of the game if I don't get a costume. Now let me quickly introduce you to my other characters. This is Angrel. My warrior so far has been pretty cool. Really though, I'm waiting for the Blader class. The Blader is my number one character that I want to play. Oh, my number one class I want to play, but unfortunately that's not out yet. So next up is Karanak. I've only made him and reserved my name. He's my Berserker. I need to do a bit more tweaking on him, so I'm going to have to delete him and then pick him back up, uh, remake him. But yeah, I think he looks pretty cool. And then... Malgus, I managed to get that name, this is my wizard, and I was able to get a template off BDO templates, and I managed to get a fairly looking young uh, template for him, so, because if you've ever seen the wizards in this game, the lore of the wizards is that it takes them like a lifetime to learn this magic, so they're all old, and you're kind of forced to have like an old character, let me just go ahead and load into this dude again I haven't actually played my wizard yet I've been playing with a friend who's been a wizard and they look deadly they do some really cool skills and amazing for leveling okay so let's have a quick look on here I made him blind, I figured, you know, he's going to be this powerful arcane user. Can I take off his hat? Hang on, I think I've got to do this first. And his hair showing up behind his... The back of his robe. Looks a bit weird. Good old black spirit, there we go. Turn the mouse on or off. Okay, thank you. Alright. Can I take off my helmet? There we go.
Okay, so this is my... Okay, so this is my wizard. He don't look too bad. And that pet is uh, the hawk you get from pre-ordering, which is cool. Unfortunately, he's making my character's hair flash. But yeah, I think I'm really happy with how my wizard turned out and I'm definitely keeping him. You know what, thinking about it, I never messed with my wizard's height. Like, I didn't pick how tall he was gonna be or anything. But, I don't think that matters too much. My berserker on the other hand, I made a massive monstrosity. He's like, tall. Okay. Let's see. So this is definitely the wizard I'm gonna keep. Now, since I pre-ordered the game, I managed to get blade armor. I actually didn't want to pick this up on him, oh well. Okay, so let's go ahead and qu equip this. This is the pre-order stuff, and I've got to say, this looks way better. Way better on the wizard than it did the other classes, in my opinion. The warrior looked kind of bland, and... Alright, there we go. So this is my wizard with the pre-order stuff. Now, I like this because it makes him look like a battle mage. Now, getting this on the warrior, the armor just looked like all the others, and the warrior gets some pretty cool looking cosmetic stuff, whereas the wizard does not. They just get the same robes. So, this bladed armor looked pretty damn cool. Turns him into a bit of a battle mage, which again, I like. So, yeah. That's cool. I like that. Now, can I mess with this if I can find the right button? So yeah, that works out quite well. I like it. So yeah, this is Malgus. He's going to be my wizard. I'm not going to be loving him just yet, but soon. Soon he will become Malgus the All-Powerful. But um, yeah, I don't know if there's much else to show you at the moment. This was just a small update video. Um, again, I wanted to mention to you guys, I am on Jordan. I don't know what I'm doing guild-wise, but if I do end up making one, I'll definitely get another video out there. But just in case I do, make sure you roll on Jordan server. I believe Jordan is the... Now, it sounds like it's got a lot of guilds on here. It might be a bit of a focus for PvP, but it's also got the roleplay community on here, and they're the servers I always tend to roll on because they always seem to have the best balance. But, um... Anyway. In case you do decide to play and I decide to make a guild, get on Jordine. Anyway. Keep checking my YouTube channel as I'm going to be releasing a lot of content for Black Desert Online. For now, I just wanted to give you a quick rundown and talk a little bit about, about the launch, or the soft launch, and uh, yeah. So, until next time, thank you for watching.